editing a waypoint. Why would I want to do that? After all, you push the button, you mark the spot, everything's perfect, right? Right. However, there is an instance where we always edit waypoints. What if a buddy sends us a hotspot on our phone and I'm going to transfer it from this device into the chart plotter? Here's how we do it. There's my waypoint right there. I'll hit the mark button. We're going to go to edit waypoint. Now I want to edit the position. So we hit position and I push enter coordinates because I want to do the same as those there. So enter coordinates. So now using these little buttons here, you scroll along. We know it's going to be close. N44, 12, 8, 7, 9. West, 078 is the same. So we go 078, 5, 3. So then we go 3.254. Now, hit done. You want to edit the name? Let's edit the name. We can do that. We'll call it SCU, S-C-U for a short form, G, just to get rid of those. SCUG, like that. It's all the same. We go back. We could go to the menu and find it, or we could just zoom out and say, okay, where is that waypoint that Buddy gave us? It's SCUG, there's SCUG right there. Zoom in. Scoog, there it is, right there. So right in that spot, that's how you edit a waypoint. Of course, there are other methods of adding and editing waypoints. Play around with your chart plotters and get used to working with your maps. Trust me, waypoints are an angler's best friend.